Hello everyone, welcome to InfamNet. In this video, we are going to see the basics of integration. So we know what is integration from our 12th standard and 11th standard. So in this, we are going to just revise the formula of those integration. So first we have integration of x raised to n. We already know the integration of x raised to n is nothing but x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So this is the equation of integration of x raised to n. In this case, n should not be equal to minus 1. What if n is equal to minus 1? So minus 1 plus 1 will become 0 and this term will not be defined. So this is very important condition. Let's take an example. We have integration of x raised to 4. So this is nothing but x raised to. We just have to increase the power and that power should also be in the denominator. So this is very simple integration. So modified version of this integration is this ax plus b the whole raised to n where a and b are constants. So the formula remains the same that is ax plus b the whole raised to instead of n we write n plus 1 as it is then n plus 1. Now the change in this is we have to write the coefficient of x. So what is coefficient of x? The coefficient of x is a. So instead of n plus 1, we have to multiply the coefficient of x that is ax plus b, the whole raised to n plus 1 upon a into n plus 1. Example, we have 3x plus 4, the whole raised to 5. So this will be nothing but 3x plus 4, the whole raised to 5 plus 1, 6, 6. And this constant is 3. So this is our integration of this. After that, we have integration of 1 upon x raised to n. So we can apply the same formula as we used to apply here by taking x raised to n in the numerator. And after doing all that process, we will get this value as minus 1 upon n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1. So what we conclude from here, whenever x raised to n is the numerator, we add 1 to its power and same power will be divided. In this case, the answer will be negative because x raised to n is in the denominator. Okay, so in this case, when x raised to n is in the denominator, we subtract 1 from the power of x. That is, as you can see, we are subtracting 1 from n. After subtracting, we are multiplying this power with this and this whole thing is in the denominator. You can remember this as 1 upon x raised to n derivative integration is nothing but 1 upon something okay since x raised to n is in the denominator so minus since it is in the denominator so x raised to n minus 1 then we multiply by n minus 1 so this is very simple way to remember this and we already know all these things so after that the modified version is this so this will also be equal to n minus 1 ax plus b n minus 1 in this case we also multiply by the coefficient of a so this is the formula of integration of 1 upon ax plus b the whole raised to n so after this we have integration of 1 upon x dx so integration of 1 upon x dx before writing this i am going to show you something what is derivative of log x derivative of log x is nothing but 1 by x so what i am going to do i am going to take this d by dx on the right hand side when d by dx goes on the right hand side, it becomes integration. Remember this, whenever derivative from one side goes to the other side, it becomes integration. And wherever integration goes from one side to other side, it becomes derivative. So this is a very basic thing which you should know. Okay, so as you can see, the integration of 1 upon x is nothing but log x. Similarly, we can write this, this will be log of ax plus b, but since here we have coefficient of x, so it will be divided by a. Integration of e raised to x, what is integration of e raised to x? Is simply e raised to x. How we can prove all these things we already know, like derivative of e raised to x is nothing but e raised to x, is if this derivative goes here, it becomes integration, so integration of e raised to x will be e raised to x only. What is integration of a raised to x? We know that the derivative of a raised to x is nothing but a raised to x log a. If I take this derivative on the right hand side, it will become integration and we will get something as a raised to x integration of a raised to x log a. 
so in integration we only used to have x terms right the coefficient we used to have terms which contain x log a is independent of x so we can take this outside the integration sign so this will become a raised to x log a integration of a raised to x so what is integration of a raised to x from here so if we take this log a in the denominator i will get a raised to x upon log a is nothing but integration of a raised to x so you can derive all this formula from derivatives or you have to remember this so integration of a raised to x dx is nothing but a raised to x upon log a so this is the basics of integration now more such integrations basics we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures